I don't know what's going on, but something is all over this thing. Super nasty. This is my white Japanese ultra frying clay bar that I always talk about. These things are amazing. They remove lots of contamination without ruining the finish before you add protection. So 9.999% um, .999 out of 10, I don't have to polish before I add any protection after I've used this clay bar. You can get this in the miscellaneous category at detailjuice.com under the shop tab. Anyway, the roof had this gunk all over it. Um, I do not know about the rest of the vehicle. It does not seem, I mean, it, it seems like there's something on there, but not as nearly as contaminated as the roof was. So um, I got it all off. But you can see there was a line where is it yeah you can see there's a line there of something i don't know what that was but it's a big square i don't know what's going on there but i got the majority of this off you can see all those swirls and how nasty it is i'm about to straighten all that out got a couple of little dents on the roof you can see them right there where my finger is you see him um all right well i'm gonna clay this again just because it's nasty and i can still feel some stuff so i'm trying to get this off and then um i'll go ahead and split the roof up here so you can see but you can see just with these led lights he has how swirled this is i'm gonna go ahead and put a tape here because i think this would be a great opportunity um we are I am testing out a brand new heavy cut um, polish for auto. Uh, this is more advanced than smart cut. It is along the same lines, but we tweaked it a little bit and we actually had the abrasives tempered a little bit differently. Uh, this stuff cuts a lot more and it finishes even better than smart cut. So um, I'll give you a demo of that. Um, this potentially could be a 2024 product just because I've been testing it a while and I like, I prefer it. I actually have been grabbing it over, um, smart cut. Uh, we did also slightly modify the adapt smart polish, uh, which is the do it all polish that everybody absolutely loves. Um, we went, so for 2024, we modified Adapt Smart Polish a little bit anyway. We went to more of the impeccable polish solution with a little bit heavier, just a slightly bit of more abrasive, but it will finish better than ever. So we discontinued impeccable polish because Adapt Smart Polish was so similar, but now Adapt Smart, Smart Polish is far, far better and we potentially will be swapping out uh, the smart cut for this new heavy cut. So you see this situation, I'm gonna go ahead and clay again, put the tape down, polish aside, and I'll bring you back to show you what's up. Okay, well, I'm pretty excited to show you this. So I haven't pulled the tape yet. I did polish. Gonna save that. Uh, good tip for saving a few bucks is reusing your tape. So if you can pull it off and put it somewhere else to test your work, that's what you should do. So you see in the light where all these swirls are outside that light. So I I'm not going to leave my finger there because it, it messes the focus up. But I want to show you look where the light is and then look outside of it. As I move, you can see all the haziness and all the swirls. So all I did was I used the, the brand new, it will absolutely be called Smart Cut. Uh, so this is the newest um, iteration of Smart Cut. It is not on the market yet. Nobody has it but me. And uh, it is absolutely phenomenal. So anyway, uh, you saw that I, I clay barred the roof. It had a lot of contamination on it. It was gross. I then used the Buff and Shine Euro 
heavy cut pad, the blue. I really dig this pad because uh, it's got this beveled edge. I love that even though it's a very heavy cutter, it finishes very nice, especially with my polishes. Uh, so that's the DeWalt 15 millimeter throw DA. I use the five amp hour batteries, they're awesome. So just from here, you can noticeably tell that this side where I polished is noticeably glossier. Now, when we get up on it, and you look right there where it was all nasty, check out what that polish did. Three passes, three passes. One up and down, one side to side, one back and forth. Wiped it off, everything came off. It looks absolutely amazing, as you can see. There are definitely some deeper scratches left. See that? There's a big one, it goes right there. So there's some, there's definitely some deeper scratches left, super deep. I am not real worried about the roof. Uh, this is a crazy big difference. And that's where we're gonna leave the roof. Um, I will coat right on top of that. Um, I was gonna use the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde system. That, that was the plan but I wanted to just test this out and see how well it works. Um, I might just keep rocking and rolling with this. I'm getting awesome correction out of this, awesome finish, and why not just keep that rolling? I, I'm not having to cut too, too much off. You can tell that I definitely cut some. I mean, you're going from this haze to this crystal clear awesomeness. But like I said, you can still see some random isolated deeper scratches in there. Uh, and those are really too deep for uh, the Mr. Hyde to fill completely. They might look a little better than that, but I just, I think it looks great. You can see that hard line where something was there. I don't know what it was, but it's gross and I fixed it. So no worries. All right, well, I'm gonna get back to work and finish this up. Uh, up here and then I think just a quick pass with uh, smart finish uh, which you saw I used that on the mag wheels down there uh, I think just uh, pass with smart finish is gonna make the gloss pop just a little bit more and uh, then I'll just coat it with some fast five so I'm gonna keep cranking with this stuff and uh, I guess just use smart the new smart cut and smart finish and then I'll go ahead and do the prep wipe with the Amplify prep, prep solution. Uh, it's in the, uh, I think, the specialty category at DetailJuice.com. It is the prep solution that adds about 30% durability to any protective product. So I like to use that prior to any protection I apply. So I'll put the Amplify on and then, and you just do a wipe down. You just wipe, wipe everything down with that. It'll clean and prep and basically prime the surface to accept the Fast 5 ceramic. And that'll be it. So I'll talk to you guys shortly. Man, that looks good. All right, I'm gonna keep right on moving, but I have not done this side of the hood and you can see where the lights are right around them, how hazy and scratched up this is. So it was nasty hammered, as you see. And now it looks freaking awesome. And I have not done the final polish yet. All I'm using is the brand new Smart Cut. And if you didn't hear me mention it before, this is the Smart Cut version for 2024. It is not currently shipping nor has it shipped at all because I've been testing this on my own. So if you wanna go from this nastiness to this protection ready finish in one step, you can do it. This is before of this nasty mirror. I'm gonna wipe it down with some smart finish real quick and I'll bring it right back for the finished product. So that's just a quick wipe with smart finish right here on this side here. You can tell the other side's very pitted. Smart finish works more, works for more than just paint, I should say. 
It is a fantastic metal and chrome polish as well. That is what I use to do these wheels. And that is what I'm using to do all of the accessories I have done this. It's super pitted and beyond fixing, but you can see the results here. I'll show you whenever it's done. All right, that's the finished product. It really needs to be replaced if he cared. I mean, this weathering matches the rest of the truck pretty much. So if they were mine, I'd probably just leave them. They look fine. Not a huge deal. I'm not a perfectionist. Perfection is not reality. Um, I try to get them as good as I can get them. And, you know, generally that's pretty stinking awesome. All right, moving right along. All right, everybody. This one is complete. This truck is super badass. My wife actually wants me to take this and she said she's not sure if they'll notice that it's gone. I think they'll notice. <laughs> um, God, it'd be a hard toss up though. I'm, I'm a sucker for a square body for sure. But I had one of the, well I had a GMC short bed uh, when I was in high school. So this is the long bed and four wheel drive. So I had a two wheel drive short bed GMC when I was in high school and it was super awesome. I loved it. Well, my stepdad had it and I got to drive it pretty regularly. So, all right, let me show you what's going on because I'm heading out and I'll be back tomorrow to do that big red sucker over there. All right, here we are. Um, just a quick update on the light. I am more than pleased at the functionality of this LED light. Um, it's super awesome, works well, and uh, well, I'll leave the description, uh, or I'll leave a link to it in the description. I'm not an Amazon affiliate. I, I don't believe in trying to shill products when I'm already trying to sell you mine. I, I'm just, you know, gonna keep it funky for you and uh, show you the link. And if you want this thing, you can buy it. All right, so I polished the wheels, as you can tell very very well um those tires have some gunk on them underneath but i actually put on the um what i put on there oh the new dress to impress that's diluted 50 50. i'm actually going to wipe them again just to try to get whatever off there uh the streaks but those streaks were on there before i put uh, dress to impress on there. So I don't, I don't know what, what it is, but I'm going to see if I can get a little bit off there before I head out in a minute. Um, this thing has lots of random weirdness going on in the paint. Uh, it's a decent job. They, I mean, it's not an amazing job. Notice how that line is straight. But if you walk down here, that line is far from straight. And if you look in there, actually, what we got this fancy light for. All right, let's bring the light over so you can see. So you can see in there, yeah, you can see all those lines, all that random weirdness. I don't know what that is. I tried to polish it out. Oh wow, there's a lot of randomness. It won't polish out. I could probably sand it out, but this wasn't a sanding job, um, realistically. There's a bunch of crap in the paint. Let's see if I can lower this down and show you what's going on here. So, there you go. You can see all this craziness right in here. A lot of that can be sanded out it's just dust nibs or real, actually those are fish eyes. So little issue with uh, the paint, little reaction. There's some more weird stuff there. It had a ton of small scratches in here, but they were really deep. You can see some of them right there still. Yeah, there you go. Super deep, not a whole lot I could do without going into sanding and that kind of thing. And that just wasn't this detail. Um, 
The paint, I compounded it. You saw, I showed you just the brand new smart cut uh, on the roof and I showed you on the hood. So I compounded it with smart, the, the brand new smart cut uh, with the blue buff and shine Eurotech um, pad with the 15 millimeter throw DeWalt dual action polisher. Look at all this orange peel, that's horrible. It's a lot throughout the truck. Um, it's fine, it's 20 years old. I did try to polish that glass and it improved it, just it's super scratched. Um, what was I saying? I don't even remember. So, um, oh, the DeWalt 15 millimeter throw DA. I cut with that and then I finished with Smart Finish and I used the red Buff and Shine pad and it gave me awesome, awesome gloss. Um, it is just one level better than the um, Smart Cut was. I mean, smart, the new Smart Cut finish is better than ever and it cuts better than ever. It is awesome. Um, and Smart Cut always cut great and always finished great. So we've improved upon that. Tires look awesome. Super happy with the way the wheels and tires came out. Um, so I cut with Smart Cut, the new, the new version for 2024. I finished with Smart Finish on a red pad. And then I went around with Amplify Prep Solution, which is my prep solution that will prep for protection, but it also leaves behind a primer that allows you to get about 30%, up, well, up to 30% more durability and longevity out of your protective products. So uh, super awesome benefit of just using that for prep. Um, a lot of times I'll do a two-step prep. I'll do the 30%, 91% isopropyl alcohol to 70% distilled water mix. I'll wipe down with that and then use Amplify. Uh, just to ensure I got everything off, but uh, my polishes are water-based, so uh, we're not trying to remove too much off the surface, uh, but just a little bit of residue that's left behind. Uh, and then after that, I applied the brand new for 2024 Elite Master Coat Pro Fast 5 ceramic coating. That coating is amazing. Man, look how glossy that thing is now. I showed you earlier just the general haze that was everywhere and all the crazy scratches and now it looks just amazing. Uh, this actually, this white has a bunch of pearl in it. So it is just amazing. It looks great. This truck just, it's just awesome. Um, I didn't go crazy. I just vacuumed the interior and wiped everything down. Nothing fancy. Just vacuumed her out. Um, you may remember from earlier that it just was generally dirty, had a bunch of debris in there. So I just vacuumed it out so that it looks better when he gets in it to drive it or whatever. So, but after the Fast Five ceramic, I then dressed the tires with Dress to Impress 5050, um, which you see looks awesome. And what else? I coated all the windows. Uh, I hand polish the front and rear bumpers. They are all pitted, but I hand polished the chrome. So they look a lot better. There's a lot more gloss going on. Um, I polished the wheels with the um, Smart Finish and it just did a great job. I took a solid layer of oxidation off, got them shinier than they were and they look really nice. I'm super happy with that. I wiped down inside the fender wells. I showed you already, I detailed the engine bay, hand polished all the stuff in there that I could get to. I hand polished these mirrors and they're all pitted, but it is what it is. I hand polished the door handles, hand polished this bumper, and that's it. So 813-846-4406 is my cell. If you got questions for me, let me know if I can 
do a detail for you, please reach out and uh, let me know what you need and let's get it worked out. Whether it's an auto boat, RV, motorcycle, doesn't matter. I'm all over it. So this thing is protected for years to come, especially because they sit in here most of the time. And uh, tomorrow I'll be back to take care of Big Red. Big Red's got some real issues. I'll show you tomorrow, but you can't really, well, you can kind of see just how hazy it is. This thing's really gonna turn out nice because it's all one color, whereas you can't really see the transition because of the con contrast um, from shiny, or from really crappy to shiny, unless I show you with a tape line. But anyway, this thing shaped up really nice. Very well protected, all the glass, trim, chrome, everything is protected. Wheels are coated to try to keep the oxidation to a minimum, and that's it. So we'll be back tomorrow to take care of Big Red. And that's it, guys. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I got going on. If you need me, let me know. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm always here if you need me. Have a great day.